to hear. Drink a good meal of it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it, now all together a cheer. Hi folks, Mark here once again, your one-take beer reviewer, coming directly from my basement testing laboratory and uh, writing facility to uh, talk about another beer. I have gotten a lot of beers, uh, samples of beer from uh, various makers from around the country, so I want to get through those as uh, a couple more of those as quickly as I can. I like to do the local beers, but I'm finding the national brands, gosh, they get more hits, and well, that means a little couple more ads. So let's uh, talk a little bit about, and I've got the whole rack sent to me of the Oscar Blues uh, canned beer and we will want to go through those one at a time because I'm not drinking two at a time right now. We are starting with the lightest of their beers, the Mama's Little Yellow Pills. This is from uh, Longmont, Colorado. They were among the first craft brewers to put all their beer in cans. In fact, they next month they will be on their 10th can anniversary. So anyway, this is uh, every pretty much everything else they have is a uh, big hoppy uh, pale ale or uh, just uh, an extreme imperial ale but this is one of their milder ales or uh, lagers rather it's their only canned lager that they have uh, this comes in at 5.3 percent alcohol by volume and it is uh, a pilsner beer or so they call it the thing about pilsners is some brewers are just satisfied with making a light lager and when Miller Lite calls itself a fine pilsner beer you know well, some people just don't know what they're talking about. <coughs> Cough button. But uh, most brewers will try to just go for the uh, light color and a nice German or uh, Czech hops balance. Some might uh, push a little harder and try to match the, um, the water character of uh, the Bohemian area where Pilsner would came from, and this was probably not the greatest choice, my uh, Trumer Pils glass to uh, pour this beer into, but uh, it uh, kind of gives you a nice look at how bright and uh, yellow, um, I can't quite call it golden in color, but um, it has a little bit of uh, substance to it, and then it kicks up a nice big head of foam, and uh, Usually, again, with a lager beer, you get just a slight touch of oxidation in the nose, and that's what I'm getting now. But uh, no, uh, no over uh, twiddling with the water. And that has a good, sharp uh, European noble hop character to it, and that's one of the first things that uh, pops out at me. It has a regular uh, nice clean malt profile that does let the hops in out of the way. And as I said with the Bader Brow, when you're really pushing to try to match the water profile of a Pilsner or Kell, for instance, you tend to uh, try to counteract uh, soft water and you might end up some getting something that tastes a little salty, but that is not uh, the case here. What we have is a very good, um, clean, yet uh, hoppy beer. Ah, there's a nice TV beer uh, for head right there. Yes, people will complain that I poured it the wrong way to kick up a big uh, head of foam like that, but it is. Uh, in a big head of foam that uh, it helps really release the aromas on this beer which uh, helps the perception of it so yes I'm saying that uh, Oscar Blues Mama's Little Yellow Pills which is now available in the Chicago area starting as of uh, this past month or so is a great find at the grocery store and the liquor store and very likely on tap Just a nice, clean, sharp uh, German hop bitterness to it. And if you uh, get your cans, uh, check out some of the uh, funny sayings on the bottom. Not only does it say this one was canned on July 31st, 2012, but uh, then it has another line, U Saz Directed, S-A-A-Z, the uh, name of the hop that goes into this. 
So check the bottom of your cans too. There's always a little surprise with this beer. Now don't be afraid of it. Drink till you're made of it. Now all together a cheer. Up with the sail of it. Down with the pain of it. Glorious, glorious.